Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel and today is a special day. Special because, well, we're receiving the last of the Tinker series to add to my collection. I'm uh, getting ready to go camp tomorrow, so I did not think I would have time to do this unboxing, but I kind of have to because it's special. Not only am I receiving the last of the what's now a series of three for the Tinker knives, but exactly one year ago today, I received the Tinker, let's see, let's not get this wrong, Shark Tooth 210mm Deva. And today I have the Tinker Saber Teeth 210 millimeter um, Sujihiki butcher knife, whatever you want to call it. And so let's get to it. I hope you've enjoyed also. I have made some new intros, both for unboxings and knife reviews. If you do want to see the latest knife review, it's about the Tinker Tank, beast of a knife. Link will be right here. If not, let's get right into the unboxing of this Saber Teeth. Now, typically I would talk, talk, talk as I opened the box and said, you know what, let's just do a little montage and speed through it. All right, here we go, we're about to unveil it. Now, something that's also important and special about this knife is yes, it's the last uh, Tinker knife to add to my collection. It's also the last Tinker knife that's made within the series, but as well, you know me, I like to go big or go home. So I wasn't just interested in getting the saber teeth. I wanted a saber teeth with a custom handle in Saya. And so who did I decide to work with? My buddy, Casey Valinsky from um, Lynn Valley Forge. Sorry, brain fart there. And so if you don't know Casey, I do have a few videos on my channel. Essentially, he sent me the prototype chef's knife in December 2020. It had a hamon, it had Damascus, it had just about anything you can possibly imagine in one single knife. That review and unboxing is up here. And so I essentially commissioned him to make me a custom handle in Saya. And so before I even get into the blade, you know, let, let's give credit where credit is due. Let's not go too fast. I won't show you the blade immediately. Let's take a look at the handle and Saya first from Casey Valinsky. Oh, that is a gorgeous knife. So what you're looking at here, wow, that's got some nice heft to it. What you're looking at here is an Indian ebony handle. We have a brass pin. We have Koa spacers. Um, yeah, Koa spacers, but with a G10 spacer as well between the spacers. The Saya is Indian Ebony, a single piece. Look at that contour. Man, I really like this vein here. Nice pin as usual. I really like the pins on the Sayas. There you have it. Look at the shape of this bad boy. And so most people say it's a Sujihiki. Um, I'm not arguing against them. I just think it, it's a knife that can also be used for butchery. I'll probably be using it with my Honesuki, so I'll be butchering down whole chickens, and then once I have everything in front of me to portion it, this is the one I'm pulling out. So for raw meat, essentially, I think is what I'll be using this for. Absolutely stunning work. Casey, as usual, you've outdone yourself. Casey's also the one who did my custom Saya for the Tsukasa Hinora 120mm Petty, which I can grab right here. So this was a Petty that I got from Home Butcher months back and this was the other saya that casey did for me wow all right are we ready i'm gonna remove this pin and take a look at the blade so what you're looking at in terms of the blade is 210 millimeters a core of eogami super with stainless steel clad and as you can tell from the saya this is the shape Damn. wow I mean, I'm speechless. Um, that's that's a sexy knife. Shibata-san, Ikeda-san, as usual, you have outdone yourselves. I just, I love, like in all the Tinker series, that mix of the beautiful, super dark matte Kuriochi and then the stainless steel. It's absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Primary bevel. What do you guys think? 
you know what, let's put this knife aside for a second. Same with this Saya, same with this Saya. And how about now I show you the family. Wow, I gotta say this feels really, really good in hand. And so if you wanna compare, I am looking for the siblings of this knife out there. So this knife was stamped and forged on the 22nd of May, 2021, and it is one of three. And so if you own two of three or three of three, send me a message, let me know in the comments. I wanna see where the brothers ended up, brothers, sisters, whatever they are. I wanna see where they've ended up in the world um, so we can keep tabs and maybe, maybe we can organize some virtual play dates. That is an amazing, amazing last Tinker Knife for me to get. I'm hoping, Shibata, that you'll be working on a Tinker Knife number four. If so, let me know, because you know I'll be interested, because here's the full family. And so we've been collecting the Tinker Knives over three years, one a year, which I think is a pretty good pace. We started with the Tinker Tank, 180 millimeters, the 23rd of August, 2019, four of nine, and last year, as I said, exactly a year ago, 23rd of June, 2020, one of three, and so this is one of three as well, we got the shark teat. Hugest deba I've ever seen. Look at that, look at that spine. And so here's the family picture. One knife, knife number two, and knife number three. Hopefully I don't drop any of them. These are badass, man. I love it. Thank you so much, Shibata San. Thank you, Casey. If you want one, if you want one of these to be reviewed, as you know, this one already has a knife review on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in a review on one of these other two knives, or you're interested in one other knife from my collection, just drop a comment, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out the unboxing of this beautiful 210 millimeter saber teat with an Indian ebony handle, brass pin, koa and G10 spacers with matching saya. Absolutely gorgeous. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. And if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. So that next video, you'll be notified. Take it easy.